You'd get in my face, it'd be no big deal But I miss the way we make up and smile Don't wanna be stoned, I change my mind I wish I had eyes in the back of my head Then I could see the places I've been But then I would know that you're talking shit I don't wanna know what my friends think Wish I were my dog out on the lawn I'd be so glad when I hear you come home But if I were my dog, I wouldn't live long I'm sure gonna miss her when she's gone I wish I could act in a show on TV Cause then I could cry, just not me and me I'll practice my pride, put it into my reel But you won't believe me when I cry for real
so much for coming tonight to the Maybe Man album release show. Yes. It is so cool to be back here at Irving Plaza with you guys. This is just, this is wild. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I have to, I know you know who we are, but maybe there's just that one dad that's like, they better introduce himself, I'm not gonna know, but I don't know. Um, so I'm gonna do that, we are AJR, that's Adam. Um, so, Upset when uh, Ryan gets the most applause, and I decided, and it happened. It, this was like for four years straight, and uh, I decided to really, I decided to really lean into it. Okay, <laughs> I'm realizing that I feel like me having a negative attitude up here is really hurting my followers. <laughs> yes, we're my followers now. Okay. No, 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 no. Um, I'm thinking that, honestly, I just want to have a more positive attitude towards Ryan because I insult you a lot, like stuff about your haircut and your beard and the shirts that you choose to wear and the glasses they haven't changed since high school and the fact you wear braces for so long and the pants are just, the shoes are always dirty, but I'm not going to do that anymore. There's going to be no more insults. No more insults. What do you think? I think that, uh, I think the love for me comes from my name fitting well with
song we've ever written.
and very isolating from you guys, which is not a good feeling. So just for a minute, in this great little spot, I'm gonna you know, point out some people that I saw thus far into the show that sort of caught my attention. Oh boy. She's, I mean, they're holding up the famous poster. That's just so dangerous to take. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna take it. Here, pass that up and I'll show it. Yeah. This is a poster that gets held up at almost every show. And I'm gonna pass it up here, do the old, do the assembly line. Just pass it up. I'm surprised you didn't take that as an opportunity to make your way. Usually they're like, great, coming through. I'm going with the poster. Um, pass that up. There we go. Okay, so it's one of these posters that I'm sure everyone's seen, which is... Oh boy. AJR, please draw my next tattoo. And I feel like we've done this twice before, and both times. Oh my god, it went horribly wrong. It just didn't go, it didn't go right. And Ryan is an excellent artist, but for some reason when he's imagining it on someone forever, that still goes away. Um, do you want to do this? Yeah, let me, let me do something. Oh, you're going to do something or should we each do a little something? Let's, 
do it combined. Let's do it. Okay, Ryan, here we go. You rested on me first. We're going to do three different parts connected. Ryan goes first. Let's go. Unplanned. Unplanned. Okay. Boy, Ryan, you are taking forever. All right. Here we go. Did you do it? You start. You got the easy part to do the abstract part? That's... This is going to be like an interpretive thing that we'll, we won't even tell her what it means. So she'll never know. All right, here we go. Ryan did two random lines. I'm going I'm to finish it. It's going to be... Oh my god. How do I... Is this supposed to be made into something? All right, we're going to try to make this into a large intestine. Here we go. Oh, oh no, no. Actually... Okay. Um, uh, I mean, no, 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 actually, it's gonna be a cactus with a smiley face. There we go. Let's finish that. Adam, let's see if you can keep that cactus going. Yeah? Give it a little something. What's he gonna get? It's getting a phallic head. Yeah. And maybe a little bit of shrubbery at the bottom. Oh, it's cute. And random it's cute. birthmarks. Yeah, it's cute. Yeah. One looks questionable. All right. That, okay. What, and I'll ask you, what was the point of you adding to that? <laughs> Just, you kind of made it more inappropriate. All right, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. I love it. I love it. Are you, okay. Now is the question. Are you, is this something that you're okay adding to your body forever? Oh my God. Okay, no. She just went, she just went. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. No, you know what? You have to do it now. I lost my voice, so sorry for my sure voice. Um, I saw something kind of interesting. You. Yeah, you. Oh. How old are you? Okay, there's a 10-year-old kid in the front there. Very, very cute. You have Jack's hat on a second ago, right? Okay, yeah, that's how I remember. Okay. So, I'm singing, maybe it was 100 Bad Days. 100 Bad Days, and I look at you in your peripheral, in my peripheral vision, and you're just kind of dozing off. And then I look at you, and you go, 100 Bad Days? That, that happened three different times. Um, I just want to let you know it's not mandatory to sing along. You don't have to uh, sing along just I, I think what it, more of it is, is he's really craving your approval. And I want to, <laughs> since you're 10, I want to just stop that because once you get it, it's not worth it at all. <laughs> it's just, I trust me, I was going after it for a long time. And then Ryan gave it to me and I was just like, I didn't need that. I, I should have done stuff. So that's all right, but I love it. Thanks for singing along. You look so confused. Oh, I'm so sorry Ryan did that to you. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, um, I'm just gonna, I mean, I know there's a bunch of phones up, I can't, there's one that says Sing Thirsty, obviously we're gonna finish with that. Um, and Austin's just gonna be thirsty for you, just acapella. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh yeah, Austin's here. Austin, 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 Austin. Thirsty, thirsty, thirsty. How fast is your heart beating right now? I'm serious. <laughs> really bad. I had a feeling. That was dangerous. That was dangerous. Um, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to say, uh, um, I know I'm just going to speak, I'm going to speak from the heart for a second. I'm just going to talk for a sec. This, this is our fifth studio album, okay? And this is like the Mandy Man. Yeah. Yes. We've been doing this 18 years. I generally, I, I don't know where I'm going with this, but I, I'll tell you a little bit about it. But we've been doing this 18 years. This album took two years of our life. And uh, it was, and I don't mean to, you know, harsh the mood, but it was truly the most two difficult years of our entire life. It really was. There was a lot of weird stuff going on. Um, that uh, Basically, we had a lot of family stuff, a lot of weird career stuff in the background. Our father ended up passing, as I'm sure you guys know. Um, and he was just our biggest fan. Now, so let's, see, let's get a Gary fan. Gary! 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 for us, but um, we kind of, as musicians, it's kind of what you do, there's there's aspects to people's jobs that are just the worst parts of it, you know, and uh, those are the parts that you just say, this is what I signed up for, this is what I have to do, and for musicians, it's 
having to actually think about the worst things in your life as much as possible to put it into the art, when a lot of people like to just sort of press it down. So that was what was really tough. But I'm just gonna sort of skip ahead and say, you know, it finally came out, and uh, our father did get, end up getting to hear the album, and he, he really loved it. He was always like a most honest critic. He was. He helped a lot of it. And I, I just have to say, in all honesty, I've never said this before, but they're literally, if I'm thinking about his like favorite things ever, I think it'd be like us, and then above that's like a pastrami sandwich. <laughs> that's that we were third, and that's two. And I swear to God, I'm serious. You you guys were number one. That was the thing he loved the most. I'm serious. You guys watching you guys at a show and meeting you after, and he would do these meet and greets. Literally his favorite thing in the world. So thank you to all of you for giving him that. Thank you. Truly. Um, and uh, and that's about it. But just just tweet us what you think of the album. It, it means a lot to us. Thank you guys. We're gonna keep playing some songs for you. Everyone's laughing at me, but not like I used to. The room's spinning all around me, but not like I'm used to. Oh, 
we're gonna play a bunch more songs, but I want to make sure we have a second to recognize the incredible musicians we have up here on stage tonight with us. This is the first time she's playing a full show with us, a new addition to the band. On violin, we have Miss Ginny Luke. the stage, a familiar face, Mr. Chris Berry on drums. Yeah. And last but definitely not least, the queen of the trumpet herself, Miss Arnetta Johnson. next one. Introduce the next song. 
So uh, I was talking to my friend that is actually in the audience. And he, uh, he'll remain nameless. He'll remain my, nameless. Yes. Uh, and he actually works at a bank, and he uh, hates his job. And every year we're like, are you going to quit your job or are you going to quit your job? You don't know what song it is. It's the good part again. <laughs> and um, every year we're like, quit your job, quit your job. And he's like, I know I'm supposed to, but you know, inertia. And he literally said it like that, inertia. And I went, Pranav, that's a great idea for a song. Oh. You really blew him up like that. All part of the plan. Let's play this fucking song. Thanks for the <laughs> you guys, I'm going to show you how we produced one of our songs, alright? Alright, usually when me and Jack are producing, we start with a kick or a snare. But this time was different. 
This time Jack dropped his keys. And I said, Jack, do that again, but I'm gonna record it this time. So we took those keys and we pitched it up an octave, like this. It sounded kind of weird and we messed around with it until it started to sound like a B. You hear that? Okay, next we added a kick drum, like this. Then we forgot about it, and a week later we were listening to this song. And when we were listening, we noticed something. We didn't notice the vocal, we didn't notice the bass, and we noticed that snare, that really tight snare. Can you play it again? Yeah, that. So we went about recreating that snare, and we started with this. Uh, can you add more reverb to that? Uh, way less. Can you dial back a little bit there? Cool, can you add some uh, high end? And a little bit of low end? Okay, now lay it down with the kick. Oh, bring back in that PC from before. So right now, the beat is in 3-4, which is one, two, three, one, two, three. But we wanted the beat to be in four, four, which is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, like that. Cool. Next we added some chords like this. Now that those were too dark and evil, can we do something more major? We added a bass line, courtesy of Adam.
to write a cool song But I gotta make it matter So maybe I'll throw the news on Could I relate the shoes to 2022 Or maybe an election down in Tucson I tried throwing something cool on So I'm missing it together Can play in that swimming pool song But why did I do that? Cause now I hate my track I'm quite aware I'll never write a cool song But who really needs a cool song? There's so many bad analogies I really need a new one So step right in this Ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the moment where it's our final song of the night. But let's be fucking obvious, that's not the truth, is it? Um, before we play our last song, I just want to say that, um, we, uh, I said this already, but it's important that we started out street performing, and there was a moment where we, I would basically write to every single friend in my Facebook account that we had a show coming up at, you know, maybe the small room at Webster Hall, which was like a couple hundred people. I would send about, you know, hundred, you know, little messages saying, hey, we have a show, we have a show. 100 declines on friends in a row. Um, and, uh, and I'm just sort of contrasting that to what happened when we announced the show. Uh, here, the show sold out in four minutes. Yeah. It just blew all of our minds. And uh, once again, look, this whole thing is for you. So thank you for doing that for us, guys. Let's play our last song. Let's sing it. Let's say it. Yeah. I get up, I get down, and I'm jumping around. And the rock is a rock, it's a comfortable night.